and then you ask YouTube, hey, what is the problem here? Like something clearly changed. And they're basically saying, no, it's we didn't change anything. There's been no algorithm change. It's you. And then I, I'm like, well, it's not just me. It's so many YouTubers talking about this. I'm not crazy. It's like from going from zero to 100. I just want to find a middle ground, you know? Now, I've talked, I've spoken to YouTube. They've acknowledged that this is a problem. Wait, and what? It's weird how this has changed. Huh? They haven't admitted, they want to, they won't say if they did it intentionally. Wait a minute. Or not. That's not what I'm you just said. Them the benefit of the doubt that this is uh, why? a glitch. And hopefully they can work on fixing it. Yeah, 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 yeah. My thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me out. Oh, just let me oh That clock keeps ticking like a metronome And my thoughts keep telling me to get me home But my balls keep telling me to let me oh Oh, just let me oh That clock keeps ticking like a metronome And my thoughts keep telling me to get me home But my balls keep telling me to let me oh Fuck, Fuck all, all that, that shit, just, just let, let me oh Broadcasting live from the heart of Europe This is the best, badass YouTube broadcast in all the known land Take your gaming streams, take your let's plays, take whatever uh, live talk shows. There's damn few of them, but this is the one uh, that talks about YouTube the finest. Uh, my point, man, today are another than D, Jeff the Huff Huffman, and D, a Dead on Dave. Uh, dead on Dave, of course, from Dead on Dave Productions, and Jeff Huffman from Grand Slam 87. I'd hope you check out their YouTube channels. Okay, uh, I have a big confession to make today, and uh, but the major point of uh, this uh, this overall um, uh, YouTube video um, basically constitutes the glitch. Uh, I'm going to be very upfront and forward. Uh, right now, um, in September and October, um, I really started to see uh, the benefit from baited. Uh, um, I actually made enough to say, look, Ma, I'm making a living. You know, uh, right after November 1st is when I saw <laughs> the dip. Right when it all <laughs> it was <laughs> So I, 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 I'll, 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 you know what? Let's talk about the numbers. Fuck it. Um, because I'm going to have to uh, pay my ex-wife anyway. It doesn't really matter. Um, in <laughs> September, um, when I started seeing the sub increase, I made about $300, $400. More than I've ever made in any other month. There's no doubt about it. But it's certainly not enough to make a living. Uh, October, I made almost two and a half grand, uh, which is more than enough to make me happy and certainly make my uh, wife happy. That is not too shabby. That is minus. That is minus a, a, a YouTube check. That was minus a beta check. All right, have you? Uh, as of now, I am one thousand dollars less on pace than I was the month prior. That has a lot to do with the YouTube glitch, the YouTube views. Um, it doesn't make sense that I'm getting sometimes thousands and. Uh, sometimes over a thousand live viewers because I could pretty much get a good idea about what how many people were, were going to hit my site based on the amount of viewers that were going to be there. And now, like, if I got a thousand, that was guaranteed tw forty or thirty thousand. Now it it's not guaranteed anything. It may be ten thousand at the most. That means a lot. That means a lot. I can't do love phones. And uh, 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 just open phones every day. They don't make much money. It's not enough to pay my bills. All right. Uh, so you guys are well aware. And I think a lot of you guys are interested uh, about the YouTube glitch and how it's affecting smaller YouTubers like myself. I'm a little bit of a section because I'm like, I am a smaller YouTuber, but I have this like big, uh, I don't know what you call it. I have this huge platform called Baited at the same time. Um but it's it's uh, nonetheless I I really count on a lot on the YouTube re re revenue. You're a small YouTuber with a benefactor. Yes, I I have connections to bigger YouTubers that I wouldn't have had had I just earned twenty or thirty thousand subs. You're on kind my of a own. big deal. People that being you. said, their algorithms change. Please like or comment because that's a much bigger deal than going ten minutes. All right. And I'm serious. Do it, please. Thank you. The, uh, hit the like button. Something I never say. And uh, when we, if we hit a thousand later, I'm gonna tell Dave to sell it because he's really good at getting people to like the video. 
Um, well, that there's being... 400 in here now, so I want to see 200 <laughs> likes. <laughs> yeah, likes. Don't worry. Like, the gizmo's coming the gizmo. out. Get yeah, that, the that's, gizmo's that's... coming out. You never know what I'm going to do. What will bring out the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man? Well, you know, that's the problem with the likes thing. You know, it's funny you say that. That's the problem with the likes thing. And I don't have problems with gimmicks or like do, eating pot peppers or or I'll do this if I hit a thousand or I'll take off my cl- I don't really have a problem with that, right? There's the, the Red Hot Chili Pepper right there, the Carolina Reaper. I don't really have a problem with that. But do you really want YouTube... I mean, even Dave, who's done stuff like that before. For money, though. Not yeah, for, for money. Yeah, do you want <laughs> that to be all of YouTube? Do you want giveaways and stuff like that to be all? I don't think Dave even wants that. People Not- invest in it. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> Ask for every seat, man. Yeah. <laughs> if there's a demand, I'll supply it. Uh, Agent Geek right. says, let's move to Pornhub. Well, somebody already did. That's, that's, um, that's the interesting. So uh, I, I got a few uh, really interesting video. Um videos i don't i've never been a fan of leafy's content i i i just even though he's been very influential and he's done a good a lot of good jobs and a lot of a little good a lot of good job and a lot of things uh he was the one of the, just behind pootie pie as far as growth was concerned this time last year um but i've never his his comedy is not aimed at people my age i'm not trying to diss the guy it's just the case uh it does get a little repetitive repetitive time but it hasn't been that way lately he's taking on political issues and things of that nature. Uh, and this is his his last video where he talks about moving to Pornhub, which he supposedly opened up a Pornhub site. You know, good for it fucking exists. him. He did it. You the, know the what? The live. That is good. You would, d- Dave would know. Here is... Fucking right. I spent a lot of time there. Shut up. Don't judge me, Huffman. I'm going to show th- three YouTubers <laughs> that I sort of trust. and That's trust in the way... No, three successful YouTubers that I think know a lot more than I do. And then me, Jeff, and, and Dave are going to uh, talk about it. This is Leafy's video, how he's moved from YouTube. It's just a little slight thing. This sums up a lot. Here you go. Hardly anyone brings up the fact that YouTube itself is dying. That's fucking right, guys. Not a single YouTube channel, not a group of YouTube channels, but YouTube itself has been rapidly fucking dropping in the past few months or so. Which, of course, sounds ridiculous, but I mean, if you look at YouTube's own web stats right here, you can clearly see that YouTube hasn't only taken a spanking in the past few months in views, time spent on their website and everything else, but more of a taking a lubed up falcon punch double fisting into the asshole. Oh my god, you got so old! I mean, just in case you guys really don't know what you're looking at, YouTube's overall bounce rate, which is pretty much the amount of people that open up YouTube and fucking leave immediately as if there was some sort of plague in here, is up by 45% in the past three months. And that's seriously just the beginning. See, the daily overall pages, aka the videos being watched on YouTube, is down by 41% in the past three months. And of course, just to add the topping on the cake, the overall time spent on the website has literally dropped by fucking half in the past three months. And just in case you're a little bit slow, that means pretty much that YouTube has gone to absolute shit and we are absolutely fucked. When YouTube's getting less and less people going to- When he says literally, nice meme, he's 100% right. It's dead at 50 fucking percent. Um, And and I think that's important uh, to point out. There's there's less views coming in. Yeah. I don't know why that is the case. But it's a huge problem. That's the, that's the question. It's the why. Is, it, 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 is that the problem? Now, that doesn't change. Like, th- there's definitely been an algorithm change. There's mm-hmm. certainly been some kind of change. There's no doubt about it. And it's affecting people all over the, the stratosphere. It's really not affecting the Pootie Pies and the Leafies and the Comedy Shorts gamers of the world. It's affecting smaller guys, especially 100K guys, uh, below a million. Because the other guys can do... Vi- vi- they're rich already. They can do... Uh, the guys above a million are probably rich they can afford getaways and stuff. below that it's like a personal business below that it's a personal yeah. business now I, leafy let me tell you this and i'll get into my confession because i've talked to him all right offline he doesn't need youtube <gasps> anymore yes and we'll get into that later you. he doesn't need youtube anymore but he does love it and he does want to continue to make videos all right um i thought uh a lot of the problem starting had a lot to do with his appearance on Baited, which I think he did very, very poorly in because I think it exposed him. Combine that, obviously, with the Nick Cash thing, uh, uh, where he the was a- thing with all a- the actually videos, he was one hundred percent exposed, in my opinion. Unless you think Nick Cash is a liar, and I don't. Um, 
Leafy was kind of exposed for fucking over Keemstar because he was afraid that that blowback was going to come his way. Grade A being the other one. No doubt. Uh, so th that's what I thought it was initially. But if you look at Leafy's numbers, they're insane. That's not normal to lose 10000 a day just because you got exposed. Fucking look at Lion no, Maker. It, it's pretty crazy. Yeah, L Lion Maker didn't lose that the percentage white. I, I guarantee fucking tee it no. when he got exposed. So there's something but, frigging know, there wrong here. There is a difference here. in content creators. I mean, Lion Maker it, what is, was whatever a you know Minecraft streamer. Mm -hmm. Leafy's a commenter. Maybe the problem lies more in the commentary section than it does other parts of YouTube. I mean, that is something to, to The problem discuss. in what way? So the problem because the algorithm changed because I think the algorithm changed. By the way, there's going to be no phone calls because we've already found out from what I can see here <laughs> that it's not going to work. You're going to have to go on Discord. I apologize then on Dave. Uh, and I'm not going to be taking... I'm, not, I'm telling you right now, I'm, I'm putting the damn thing on... Uh, I'm putting the damn thing on red. I'm not taking any calls. I'm doing one of two things with the phone calls. I'm getting a new line. Uh, first, I'm going to call Skype. I'm going to get on the phone with somebody, which I can't seem to do. Um, or um, I'm going to just get a new account and see what happens. If that doesn't work, it's Discord permanently. So, Didn't uh, get you say your Discord. phone provider was T-Mobile? Yes, but as that has nothing to There's do with... There's your problem right No, it's there. not. No, it's not. Because it has nothing to do with the damn thing. And, and Dave's not having a problem with it. From what I understand, Joe Cronin is not either. So I'm, no. I, it's, it, it's, it's either my account is corrupted, which is more than likely. No, 1% makes a difference. Yeah, well, it's just, I can't <laughs> add anybody to our group call. So we're going to have to do it no. on Discord. I will be taking uh, uh, calls later. Uh, let's see. I got three people in the waiting to call thing now. But we'll get to that. Now, uh, going back to what it say. Now... There's a theory out there and by a guy that I generally like and I've learned a shit ton of you a shit ton about YouTube with his history videos, his top 10 videos, uh, his even killness. Uh, he's not the most famous YouTuber on the planet. He's got about 800K, 700K, something like that. His name is Gamer from Morris and I think he's excellent. He believes this. I don't believe this 100% because I think it has something to do with his baited appearance, but it might explain, at least in some ways, uh, the... Uh, reason for the algorithm change. Uh, this is his theory, and by his own admission, this is a theory. The video, and now he's getting about 700,000, and it's still dropping. At the beginning of 2016, he was one of the fastest growing channels on the entire website, and now he's... Let me start from the beginning, because apparently I didn't hit the right button here. Let's start. Gamer Over the past week go. or so, I've seen a lot of YouTubers complaining about some of the changes made to the platform, some more valid than others. So today, I wanted to talk a little bit more about how YouTube works and why some of this is going on. As the title implies, I believe that these changes made to the website have something to do with Leafy is here. But before I start this conspiracy theory, I just want to say that's just that. It's a conspiracy theory and I have no proof behind any of it. People need to realize just how far Leafy has fallen in a very short amount of time. Only a few months ago he was receiving at least 3 million views per video, and now he's getting about 700,000 and it's still dropping. At the beginning of 2016, he was one of the fastest growing channels on the entire website website, and now he's losing about 2,500 subscribers a day. After I looked at these numbers, I really had to ask myself, what would cause such a drastic change? And I know a lot of people will say it's just because he's a cyber bully, but really that wouldn't cause such a major shift in his channel views in such a short period of time. Because people As love I mentioned cyber earlier, bullies. there are a lot of people talking about an algorithm change on YouTube, including H3H3 Productions and Drama Alert, with many people speculating on why this is happening. My answer to that question, Leafy is here. It's been clear for many years that the people working at YouTube are probably a pretty liberal bunch and they don't like to have controversial content. This leads to a lot of channels being promoted. Which, by the way, completely uh, smashes the definition of liberal, but I know what he means. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. ...that don't rock the boat. While sure there have been plenty of edgy creators over the years, none of them have ever grown to the size of Leafy is here. At the beginning of 2016, he was spitting out daily uploads, each of which were above 10 minutes long in length. This was perfect for the YouTube algorithm at the time and made him grow very quickly, which wasn't very good for many people working at YouTube who didn't like him. His videos were often riddled with derogatory language as well as making fun of smaller channels and little kids, and when 3 million people are watching each of your videos, a lot of hate was being sent their way. When it looked like Leafy's here couldn't be stopped and his channel just kept on growing, the algorithm on YouTube just conveniently changed, making his views drop drastically. Now, he's not throwing in baited and he's not throwing in Nick Cash, all right? But 
it would make it look and I think he would have lost views, but I think it would have looked a lot more like grade A's losses than it looked like his losses. I mean, at one point, I think he lost 10,000 in one day. It doesn't it could make be a sense. combination of all of these and I things. think I mean, bingo. Yeah. I think it's a combination of both. I, I things. think he's still getting hit from what happened a couple months ago. Because I, I, the algorithm change definitely could have happened, but it might not have had something to do with leaf. In fact, I know we know there's an algorithm change. Yes, it's happened. Yeah. It's, it's, it's there. Period. But in con- it might have hit him harder than it hit some of the other YouTubers because of everything else that happened to him around that same time. Mm-hmm. But at the, it also could be because people are simply not watching commentary videos as much as they once were. And that would have to do with guys like Leafy who are just turn this into a fucking cesspool. So I'm with you on what he said in the majority of his video. But you know what I didn't like what Leafy said today? What? That he was so nonchalant about how he can, I'll just fucking leave it. I'll quit. Now, look, we don't know if he was serious or not. So that's the only thing. Yeah, yeah that's the problem. You know? We don't know if he's kidding or not. But <laughs> And I think that was on purpose. By but the Le- way. but I, I will say this. Leafy being nonchalant is consistent with his character. I, I, I'll, I'll be yeah, good fairness. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But go. No, but finish up, though. Yeah, it was just it's just very interesting to me. It's like, OK, I might be responsible for fucking this shit up, but now I'm gone. So I don't know. The whole well, what thing the fuck else can he do? In in fairness, and what the fuck else can he do? No, you know? no, that's true. <laughs> you know, <laughs> what I else mean, can you do? Yeah. Well, I mean, Colossal is crazy. I don't know if he said this on a baited episode or to me offline that he said that Leafy will adjust to any changes coming down the road because me and you have both talked about me, you and Jeff, but this commentary video game commentary thing is going to come out of uh, come to an end. Now, we didn't think it was because of an algorithm change. We didn't think the market would just, it's, it's entertainment. People tire of the same entertainment after a while. That's the one constant on planet Earth. People get sick of the same shit. They change their clothes. They change the music they listen to. Um, uh, 14 year olds become 20 year olds eventually. And they don't like the same things when they were 14. Uh, and eventually Leafy would be a victim of that. Uh, I remember Clown saying to me either privately or on a baited episode. I can't some, because we deleted a few sometimes. And it's not all Keem's fault. And it's not all anybody's fault. We delete episodes because somebody forgot to record. But I specifically remembered saying that him saying that he thought that Leafy was more than able to adjust than everything than than most people. And you already see him. You're seeing him trying at very least to to make those adjustments to move forward, uh, assuming that the uh, Pornhub thing is legit. And you know, it and it could I be mean, a work. Make it. it could be a work. I I don't sure. know. I don't know the guy. Um, you just don't I just, know with this guy, man. Uh, he, but he, I, he I did. Did you find a more serious? T- uh, he did try to be funny, but did, in that last Leafy video, did you feel a little more serious tone than than some other videos? At one point, he says, um, "You know, it's it's funny because every month we're worried about, including him, worried about YouTube heroes, uh, a change in this, a change in that, that kind of change. SJWs are taking over, and how we all panicked." over and over again about this is it the party is over and now it really looks like it's over because and all that other stuff looks seems very petty at now because look this one lasted more than a week and as this H3, one is lasting a yeah. while yeah h3h3 said this feels very much like when they changed the algorithm to get those 10 minute videos as last time where it, where it hurt animators animators need a little more they can't produce animation every day it's impossible it cannot happen it even if you're using computer the top flight machines you cannot produce good animation every single day it's impossible even and the south op- park's not that fast yeah right? exactly nobody can do that and south park is low-end animation you know, uh, it always has been very, very low. Yeah, it's exa- but but deliberately because it's funny. So that yeah. killed animation channels, and it led itself for for an, for for folks not animators, but 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 commentary channels because you throw the audio on there, and if you say something relevant and people connect with it, you're good. It doesn't even matter what's in the video. One of the reasons I got attracted to this whole thing because everybody's playing video games in the background, but what they're saying is much more interesting. I, being a radio guy or considering myself a radio guy, found the commentary community the most interesting you know um so so i i really wonder if he's if he's if he's actually on to something in 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 some way now i've given you leafy i've given you the theory of uh gamer from mars which i i think is relevant i i find gamer and from mars he's one of the people that have taught me the most about youtube and i find him to be very level-headed uh where everybody's like oh my god he seems to be the most level-headed um but the guy that's probably more in the know than all of us is none other than Pootie Pie. His video 
was interesting and stuff. This is an edited version of his video. I want you to check this out. One of those things. <laughs> it's very concerning that they are not taking this seriously. Now, it's been so much confusing, fusion on what the problem is. No one seems to know. I think I know what it is. So I'm going to try to explain it. On YouTube, you hear a lot of times about subscribing. Please subscribe to my channel. PewDiePie has 50 million. But YouTube has really been moving away from a subscription type based uh, view. Since when? Since November? Do you know something? <laughs> Since when? Okay. I, I, I just want to throw that out there. Being experienced for a long time. They want you to watch other videos as well. So basically what they replace it with is, let me show you. If you subscribe to someone and you watch their content, their videos will show up as recommended or in the suggested thing. Suggested manjigger. Now, most creators, I'm going to use the word creator. I don't know what the fuck to call it. It's fucking YouTubers. Most people on the platform <laughs> get half their views from these two things. And it's now gone. And this doesn't matter if you're a small channel or a big channel, okay? So just to show an example on some statistics. Here overall, you see that I get 30% of my views from suggested videos. That is not counting browse feature, which is homepage which is 53%. Let's just ignore that for now. Let's just focus on suggested because this is, I know this is a lot to take in, okay? Now, suggested views, I get 30% of my views from. That's what I've noticed got caught off. I noticed my views are dropping roughly that amount. Now, if you check an old video, oh look, I got 60% of my views from suggested videos. This one's 62%, this one's 63%. These were videos that were uploaded in October. Now something, something 100% happened in November, all right? Because all of a sudden, we got suggested videos, 0.7. <laughs> what? <laughs> and it's not just one video. Look at this one, 0.2. Something changed. I think that's fair to say, Dead on Dave and Death. Obviously. Something changed. A little bit. This is Pootie Pie. This is not some schmuck. This is not Tommy C. This is not um, whatever it is. It's, it's not Jack Malay. <laughs> but uh, it's. <laughs> this is uh, Captain YouTube. This is Captain YouTube. Now, this is a video that I didn't make. It was an animator, Jay, who worked on this for like a month. And we, we share the ad revenue. And since this one did so poorly compared to the other one. So seeing this, I'm like, what the fuck is going on? This is so clear that it's not a pro that it's a problem. But YouTube saying, hey, Felix, it's not a problem because look, your suggested videos are still 30%. Even if you close in on the last 14 days, look, suggested videos, 32, they went up. You should be thanking us. Now, from now on, I'm just going to really just put out theories out there. Okay, let's just let that be clear. But it's suggesting older videos. It's something I've noticed at least. If you click on one of my newer videos, it is essentially suggesting ancient fucking videos. Like videos I did six months ago. Which, you know what? It's a good, it's a good idea. For you. But you can't completely cut out the new ones, putting them at 0.2%. Now what I think has happened is that you, these old videos has already qualified to be as suggested videos. But now you need to qualify to show up as suggested videos. And what will qualify is essentially videos with really high click-through rate. Like videos that people really want to click on really fast. And if you upload on a daily scale. I think what he means by that is almost like the shorter thing, like a two, three minute people, it, 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 it's view rate. I think that's what he means by that. Is that what he means by that? Like in other words, retention? That's what I'm getting out of yeah, it. Yeah, I don't know I what he meant. so. First of all, English is not his first language and I'm not jumping no. on him for this. Uh, and his English does go south, but I think he means retention. I'm guessing. Uh, am I wrong South. here? South. I'm trying to figure out how to fuck this guy has 50 million subs. He sounds like a deaf woman. <laughs> it's fucked up. He's fucking beautiful in Swedish. That's all you need to know. He's a Pete Forsberg of YouTube. Schedule. You're not going to get that. So it seems like you need, it's more like focused on viral sure videos. Nobody somehow. That you have to have a really, yeah, I know, just you and me. really, really strong <laughs> video for us. it to show up. And I think it, it shows because I did the, the I'm going to delete my channel video, which really did really well. And way more than I ever expect. No, you did. I, I don't buy that because uh, you, you, you were testing clickbait on that video. It's like from going from zero to 100. I just want to find a middle ground, you know? Now, I've talked- Honestly, I think he made that video to see if there was something wrong with his theory. I've spoken to YouTube. They've acknowledged Probably. that- Okay, here's another. Here's the important part. Here we go. 
Uh, and it YouTube. doesn't. Yeah, here you go. I've spoken to YouTube. They've acknowledged that this is a problem, and it's weird how this has changed. Pootie Pie is the only YouTuber thus far to say that YouTube said this is a problem. Most YouTubers are reporting, including a Philly D, saying that. What are you talking about? So, and and here's another problem with Pootie. Here's here's the biggest problem with Pootie altogether. Um, it's this part. It's being record low out of nowhere, and then you ask YouTube, hey what is the problem here like something clearly changed and they're basically saying no it's we didn't change anything yeah there's it, been no that, 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 that's change. that's that's a problem so see i took that saying? as i took that as the first time when he was talking about you ask youtube he wasn't meaning himself he was okay meaning you, people are asking youtube like in general and then later on he would say he physically talked to them and got a different answer that's how i took it that's possible, but it's is he snitching on them? I mean, it's obvious that yes. they don't. Yes, he is, Tommy. You know, I, I, yes, I tell you something, is. and maybe he is, and God bless him if he does, because look, Pooty can get, hang it up all tomorrow. But and, and I will say this: as I was watching this video, I did get the feeling. I did get the feeling, as well as I did in Leafy in a weird way, but he's like detached and shit and a big psychopath. Um, it, as well that they're not worried about themselves. They've made their money. They're worried about the future of this platform. I did, both the, both those YouTubers, both those megastars, I really got the feeling that they did give a crap and they know it doesn't affect them long term because they're already filthy fucking rich. Um, filthy rich, but you know, what do the rich want? They want more. And here's the thing sure, about Sure, and they can't get more. I think more. you made the most important video, Tommy. I think this is the most important video that's been made about the glitch yet. And I don't know if you have this available but it's the last 25 seconds, the last 30 seconds. It's the most important thing. Why is that? Why video. is that? I could, I could get the audio up if you want me to. Because he, oh well, yeah, no, it's the visual too. He flat out fucking threatens YouTube. I miss Flat out threatens. In what, in, 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 again, in what language? I'll tell you exactly what he says. Okay. In the last 45 seconds, okay. he starts to slow his words down. Uh -huh. And he says something uh -oh. to the extent of this. He says, if this problem does not get fixed, creators will start leaving. I didn't take that as a threat. The platform. But it's the way he said it. And then for 25 seconds, he just stared into the camera and out of the camera and just let it fade out. That's a threat. Let me hear that, it. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Listen to the audio. And I, I, I don't have the visual. I can't get the visual up. I wasn't prepared for so that, but here we go. It doesn't affect me. It affects everyone on YouTube. I honestly thought YouTube was about what content people the majority want to watch but it seems like it's becoming less and less of that it's not about who you want to watch it's about who, who's gonna yell the loudest if this is all intentional and youtube is focusing away from creator based content and less personality based well then don't be surprised if personality <laughs> ah fuck <laughs> thanks asshole hey man i love the stream i know it isn't a lot but i just want to say keep up thank you man thank you man Thank you, man. That, that was very Son nice. Son of yeah. a bitch. Yeah. Was that 60 bucks? Was that the, If it wasn't 60 it was, bucks, it wasn't. No, we're money. not going to make fun of the fucking donation. No, thank you. <laughs> it's very kidding. generous. Thank you. This is all intentional, and YouTube is focusing away from creator bait. We were all like, like fucking listen with bated breath. And, and, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> content and less personality based. Well, then don't be surprised if personalities start leaving YouTube. You see the way he's just letting You're right. the fucking thing. That was a threat, there? boy. That's a threat. Yes, it is. And he st doesn't even look at the camera. He looks off. Yeah. Don't look at the, I don't fucking need you, Jesus. If this is true and you're right, Dave. <laughs> no, no, I'm serious, Dave. If you're right, he's a hero. Yeah, he's a That's fucking what I'm saying, man. This hero. Is fucking incredible what he did. He's a fucking hero. And by the way, he deserves your sub if you don't have it. Yep. Pootie Pie's gone from an entertain ch ch children's entertainer to sort of a a, um, a if, if I the last couple of months at least uh, a reality show guy about a famous YouTuber. Um, he's I noticed he's been more and more honest. I don't agree with everything he says. I, his comment on drama was, I wonder if we're going to find out one day he was told to make that video. I mm. really, really wonder. And interesting enough, what else does he say in this video? And I didn't want to put it in because it was too much a conspiracy theory. What does he say in the beginning of this video as a joke? I didn't vote for Hillary Clinton. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. So he also believes, like I do, 
And I did, did I, I wish I would have followed this up. I'm such an idiot. Did Philly D say that YouTube approached him about making a pro Clinton article, a pro, a pro Clinton video? And he told him to stick yeah, it. Yeah, I think I think I'm he, sure I got to look. We got to look. I, I want Philly D on the show. I'm going to see what I can do about getting him on. I mean, if we can't get him on baited, I think it's time to start pulling him because that's serious, especially if this glitch goes further. Um, uh, if, if that's the case. And he says that I didn't vote for Phil Hillary Clinton. Um, and I have run the narrative that I wonder if the behavior, the, the change, uh, especially because I don't know, the election was at the beginning of the month, the beginning of November, um, <laughs> has something to do with, look, Facebook, Twitter, uh, and Google. They're both, all three of them, big Democratic Party supporters, big supporters. And you can make the argument, the reason, one of the major reasons that Donald Trump is president is because he did social media better than his opponent on Facebook, especially on YouTube, where the war started before he even announced on Gamergate. And the people that promoted da Gamergate, I don't know, Breitbart, are now sitting right next to Donald Trump in the White House. So that definitely has something to do with it. So if these are they, is, is, is this change just a fucking freak out? Am I that far off? Now, I'm not discounting, because uh, 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 I wrote uh, uh, Gamer from Mars, Alex Jones. It's a reasonable theory and he was upfront with the fact that it might not be 100% true, but I think there's part of it that's true. And I think what Leafy's saying, maybe it could be a panic over not over Donald Trump. Donald Trump. They've been losing views overall. Maybe they're going to blame Leafy. Maybe Leafy thinks he is the blame and likes I mean, it. You know, <laughs> There's always that possibility. I think this is a gathering of many. This is a perfect storm in a lot mm. of ways for for fucked upness. I think it all began with a glitch. I think we're still seeing the effects of it. And a lot of things that YouTube is doing mm -hmm. now with the algorithm change are all results of, because that's all they can do at is this it, point. Is it based it's, on a panic though, Dave? You think it might be based it could on a panic? Be. I, it may be. I, like, I put out this out on my channel. I felt that this is something that's been going around for a long time in the smaller YouTube uh, channels. Mm -hmm. I've seen some weird shit with my numbers at times. So just I mean, some weird disappearance. On my crappy channel, I get, had a couple people say to me that yeah. I've been, they've been unsubbed to me when they watched a video. Really have, so how I think many this has been a long time living in the smaller bowels of YouTube. And then mm -hmm. over time, YouTube doesn't acknowledge it because the last thing you want to do is acknowledge there's something wrong with the code. All sure. the hackers in the world go after it, and then they can exploit you. So they don't acknowledge it because mm -hmm. out of, probably out of arrogance, because they're YouTube, either that worm, that virus will run its course or they're fucking YouTube. They'll fix it. Yeah. The problem is they weren't able to fix it and now they're fucked. And that's part of what I believe. I think there's a lot going on here. Yeah. They, 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 whatever it is, they're not coming clean. And I think no. H3H3 H3 video still remains the best No, there's the best definitely one. something more. Yeah, there's something going on here. Um, it'd be nice if, um, you know what? I really wonder if we are truly YouTube partners, right? Which we're not. Let's be honest with I'm you. I'm a shinema. I'm yeah, a shinema. Well, that's the thing. Why isn't, like, <laughs> like it, could there be a fucking lawsuit in the works here from YouTube partners and YouTube networks? Because we did make an agreement and they did say, you know, uh, said, I don't know what their legal obligation are. Certainly, they probably don't have to put us all on the front page. Uh, but if they're change, but I, I don't know, mate, is this a result of the Trump election? Is this the revolt for dying views overall? Um, because that happened several months ago. Uh, is this is a reaction? No matter what it is, they're not being, they're not, they're not coming clean and it is affecting people. Yeah. Uh, on to the call, the guy who's claims not to be a journalist, who I believe is the only serious journalist in all of YouTube, uh, to be perfectly <laughs> honest. Sorry, Philly D. He has been told that there was a, uh, and this is this is more um, speculation uh, with sources, from what I understand. I will report on this more when I understand it better. But the reason people are being unsubbed after uploads is this. They're, when you send that message out, um, the people that haven't interacted with your, ch ch with your channel have been automatically unsubbed. This was something that was in the code a long time ago that it might explain Dave's thing where it's been growing over time, is actually unsub and subbing people. The glitch where the unsub glitch may have nothing to do with the view glitch. In fact, it definitely it more than likely doesn't because the view glitch is definitely an algorithm change. If you and oh, I heard no this question. I heard this on Drama Alert. If you get more more than forty percent of your views from recommend from recommendations, you're fucked. You are fucked. Period. And that's certainly my situation and probably everybody under uh two two or three hundred thousand. Uh, that that would be the case. Um, 
And uh, maybe this is a way to move people away from what PewDiePie said. Oh, I wonder if it was a slip of the tongue, a subscription-based platform. Certainly, we don't... There were need... a few interesting slip of the tongues in that PewDiePie video. A couple yeah. of really interesting I ones. wonder. And he just stares off like he almost doesn't want to look at the camera. It's bizarre. Is it a threat? I loved it. That was a fucking threat, dude. But he's a fucking hero. He's a goddamn... God... He's a fucking hero if he did it that way. I feel he feels like part of he is YouTube. I think he partly takes some ways, responsibility for the success of it. Well, he is. And He's I don't think you, yeah, you can't really blame him for feeling that way. So maybe in some when you have I a read connection her, and you are I the read an article guy, that Susan Wojcik, when she got the job as being YouTube CEO, she had no fucking clue who he was. Huh. That that nice. says a fucking lot. She does so, now. Yeah. Well, she she may know it now, but does she give a fuck if he goes away or not? That's always been my concern it's because not YouTube. Good if you don't know who your top guy is, but the, 50, no, 50 it's probably not subs. good. It, you, it, here's the thing: Does YouTube want to make money? Because or does Google want to make money? Because Google's never made money on YouTube. Not one. Not one year. No. Not one year. They so come it, close. They've but come close. YouTube years, has political not. influence. So don't you want to control your little fucking animal that probably helped the guy you didn't want to get elected get elected? In some uh, some what, way, what you just said is the most important thing that I use against the whole YouTube's doing this to silence people or to drive people away, because if they drive people away completely, they lose that favor that they curry. They lose that influence because nobody's watching anymore. They can't afford Dave, for YouTube Dave, to fucking you, die. I almost called you Don. I turn on the American news. I hear people saying openly on mainstream news, not talking Alex Jones, that the Russians rigged the election, that a white supremacist <laughs> influence yeah. has gotten the guy to lost it. These people are freaking the fuck out. They are yes, freaking they are. the fuck out. When the Republicans lost the, uh, the White House in 2008, they acted like assholes. Oh, fucking black guy. When the Democrats lost, they took to the street and said it was a giant conspiracy theory. I mean, look at God, Keith fucking Oberman. He sounds crazier than Alex Jones. Oh and that God. says something. I mean, I'm seeing Keith on, on, is on mainstream, He's the Russians panic. infiltrated Michigan, Wisconsin, and Pennsylvania. This is open, fair language, which would have been considered batshit craziness. Breitbart, white supremacists, like it's like, uh, what was that, Stormfront? Foil hats out. Yeah, like it's Stormfront, but this is on, this is on CNN. This is on Don't CNN, on this is on Russies. MSNBC, these are mainstream they news outlets. So is it so ridiculous to believe that YouTube is freaked out in a similar manner and they don't care about their bottom line? Yeah. Oh, well, it, would, it, wouldn't be it wouldn't be surprising at all. I turned on CNN the day after the election. You could just see how butthurt they looked, oh, yeah. how pissed off they looked, the fact that Trump won, and it was great. Yeah, Not it was as butthurt great. as the young Turks, but yeah. Yeah, they were know. funny. But at least fucking, uh, in, in fairness, in fairness, Chank predicted a Trump victory. For the for a lot of the same reasons, they weren't going after the Rust Belt. But anyway, get it. Listen, I want you to listen to this ad by Real Talking Metaphor Messiah that I made myself. Uh, I want you to check out his uh, videos and all the stuff in the lower head, and I'm going to come back with my confection, so check this out. Hey, what's happening, everybody? It's Real Talk, the Metaphor Messiah, rapper and artist, but you know him better as the co-host of Shot From The Point Live. From the streets of Chicago to the bright lights of Las Vegas, Real Talk rocks the stage and the digital store. Hard-hitting and thought-provoking. Check out my man, Real Talk. The Metaphor Messiah. Make sure you check out his latest release, Black Mozart, along with his latest music video, Notice Me. All right. This one, uh, this this has nothing to do with the uh, with Pootie Pie. Well, it, it 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 semi has something to do with it. Um, but I I, I definitely want to explain myself, and uh, it, it I'm just I'm hoping I haven't talked to Keem yet, and I don't plan to talk to Keem about it because it really isn't much of his business. Um, shouldn't be. It it, it shouldn't be. Uh, but uh, the reason I'm comfortable talking about this. Uh, is that apparently um, there is some kind of truce between uh, uh, Keem and Leafy. This also has something to do with my uh, appearance on Baited or my lack of uh, reaction uh, to um, the out. And I still don't. I'm sorry, guys. I don't give a shit that Keem and Zoe played a joke on everybody. It just doesn't bother me all that much. I don't think it's that important. Nobody got hurt. Nobody really got called a pedo in real life. Um, I was ready to go to fucking uh, bat for Zoe, but she baited me, and I was just like, gotcha! <sighs> ah. And all the air came out, right? And there's something on the top of that. But on top of this, I've been getting a lot of criticism 
uh, that you're a pussy and you suck Keem's cock, which most I get, I don't know, a hundred times a day and stuff like that. And even uh, sparks it. Yeah, it, it even sparks you, <laughs> bitch. What the fuck? Fuck you. You know, we're supposed to be friends. You, <laughs> she dropped that you mic fucking, on you, man. I'm the you're latest a in the big jerk. bitch. You're supposed to be my friend, for Christ's sakes. Didn't I help you with, hey, watch your mouth? Hey, Sparks, watch your mouth. All right? I mean, uh, let's. <laughs> you're, ste you're stealing Katie's joke. Yes. That was right. a great line. Check on. Oh check God. on. Yeah, I, I, I did a better job than Katie's usual. Um, but anyway, uh, uh, that being said, um, I, I, I definitely got to come clean uh, with you all. One of the reasons I was absolutely relieved, and Clowns knows this is to be true, and Dave knows that I was nervous about fighting with Keem uh, because of an argument that we had earlier that we will not talk about. Um, Leafy had contacted me uh, about two, two weeks prior, maybe three weeks ago, uh, just about the time I just, maybe it was still October, and we had a long conversation about uh, a range of shit, mostly Europe and European girls, and just basically frigging guy talk. Um, and some of it was um, private as well. And we both walked away from it terrified because it was a friendly guy. We, he was terrified that I was recording the conversation which I was, just in case he was going to fuck me over. <laughs> I'm glad that you said yeah. it, because I so badly wanted to go, which right. he was. But I'm, which I will never release. Sorry, were, sorry, were, Calvin. Everything. Sorry, Calvin. There's no way you're going to fuck my life up. Nothing personal, but it's safe you, with me, because I haven't released it, have I? All right. Some of it um, was because uh, he just said, hey, it's Leafy's here. Just want to say hello. I'm like, yeah, you got an angle. But uh, for the most part, he didn't have an angle. In fact, one of the reasons I think he was calling me was because he wanted to know, because he couldn't go to Keem directly, if Keem had any insight on the algorithm problem, right? And I thought to myself, bitch, you got burned on baited. That's why you're losing subs. You lied and fucking Nick fucked you over. You don't fucking come crying. But as it turned out over time, his speech with me or what we were talking about, because I was just like... No, dude, I don't know what you're talking about. No, I'm fine. No, I'm growing. Yeah, yeah, I'm not getting 1,000 subs a day, but I'm getting 800 a day. What the fuck do I care? You know, but I do think Leafy's been, and I think he was probably trying to get information from me uh, that maybe Keem had dropped down, which I probably would have told him if Keem knows, but I don't, I, I'll tell you right now, Keem doesn't know anything. Um, he came probably, uh, he may know more than me, but he only, uh, he, 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 he definitely believes that the, uh, the algorithm is, I think it's deliberate. He thinks it's a mistake. He thinks it's a business mistake that somebody, I mean, he made the speech. Why isn't somebody been fired? Um, maybe because they're doing it on purpose. <laughs> you ever think of that? So um, when the Zoe Berger thing happened, I was put in a weirdly weird position that uh, um, after this sort of falling out, well, I don't want to say falling out, but argument that me and Keem had that had nothing to do with Leafy or anything else. Um, but I was terrified clown knows about this that he was going to find out about my conversation with leafy and believe that i was somehow conspiring with leafy in some way when it was very you innocent mole. yeah you it was a very innocent mole. conversation we bullshitted for a while and, and at some point in the uh and by the way it's all recorded at some point <laughs> in the uh the, i said you know you really ought to think about apologizing to keem for what you did now that conversation didn't get no any further. I didn't want to get an argument or not, or whether he was still kind of maintaining at the time that he didn't leave him uh, to, 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 to protect his channel or something like that because it just, it was a dead issue. I knew he would never admit to it. We mostly talked about Europe uh, chicks. There was a few personal conversations that I will never reveal because it was personal. Another thing, he's friends with Clown, and I'm not going to fucking dick over a friend of Clown. The only reason I was recording it, and I'll be honest with you guys, when you called me, and I'm afraid of you, I will record you, whether it's on Skype or anywhere else. It's just self-defense. You protect yourself. Um, and and, and Leafy, it, 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 certain parts in, the, in our conversation is like, is this my next exposed video? And I told him, no, it's not, because I'm not a douche. Do Whatever have, I might think of you. Do you have that conversation in a break glass file on your computer? It, not yet, but it's going to be there. <laughs> no, I don't think I even need that, it anymore. That Batman kill file where Batman has... Hey, I think like that this stuff is going to put hero. YouTube in a very bad situation where there will end up break, uh, like break MySpace or Safebook. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. So, that fear that Keem may, may have known about my conversation and 
thought it was a betrayal on top of the fact that uh, the whole fucking thing was a work or at least it was a half shoot or something. I don't know what the fuck it was. But at the end of the day, Zoe didn't get hurt by it. So I couldn't didn't have to defend her honor. And now I'm hearing that Leafy and Keem have had an offline conversation, which relieved me as well. I didn't tell Keem about it because I didn't want to lose my fucking job. And I didn't freak out for two reasons on baited because nobody got hurt and I didn't feel like freaking out and it takes a lot to fucking get me going. Usually you have to hurt my friends uh, uh, to, to get to, to get me screaming and yelling. It's just the way I am. I know a lot of you were disappointed because the reason I got on the baited podcast to begin with is because I got in a fight with Keem. Here's the dirty secret. I agree with Keem on a lot of things. Not everything, not the way he's handled himself, not, uh, not uh, but as far as entertainment concerned, we're pretty much see eye to eye on a lot of things. Eye to eye. Here's another thing. When I defended Keem during the leafy and grade situation, I was called a dick sucker. I was called no fucking good for months on end. Guess what, assholes? I was right. I backed the right horse. I was 100% correct. Keem got fucked by leafy and grade. And I was proven right by a material witness by the name of Hey Watch Your Mouth Nick Cash. Proven right. But here's the thing, and this is this is just a message to my fans, basically. I can't have a situation where I can't talk to who I want and and express myself the way I want and tell you guys that I'm being as honest as I possibly can in fear of losing my job. I'm basically going to be like this from now on. I'm going to say what I want and do what I want. Um, I'm certainly not going to go deliberately to hurt Keem or deliberately to hurt Con Drama Alert. And I'm not going to go deliberately to go disagree with Keem to go prove that I fucking, you know, some virtue thing like the swim that I'm not a dick sucker. <laughs> the thing is, how do you feel about Keem and Leafy making peace? Do you believe he would replace you? <laughs> I, I, maybe now. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe now. And no, the bed I is made and Leafy's about to I, I if I get replaced, it was a great ride. I don't think Keem would do that to me. If he does, he does. What can I do? I've basically been told from day one that Keem is going to fuck me over eventually. I have been a soldier, an absolute soldier for Keem because I knew you do something with Ty Blue. Then <laughs> I've been a soldier for Keem because I knew he was right. I knew he got screwed over, but. That doesn't mean I can stick up for Keem on every such a single situation. The pedo thing was 100% wrong, whether it was a work or not. And I owe it to the people that support me on this channel that I'm going to speak my mind from now on. That being said, I did not pussy out on the last baited podcast. It just didn't seem like something for me to get upset over. But you would be right if I had some hesitation because of this offhand conversation with Leafy that Keem didn't know about. That was actually none of his business, right? Um, and it was it had nothing to do with him. I told him to do the right thing. Maybe, I hope he did it because I told him to, all right? Uh, and uh, the fact is, um, I just didn't get as outraged as clown because I didn't think it was that big a deal. Yeah, maybe it is a big deal and I'm stupid, but I don't think it was that big a deal. I don't, I don't think it was a big deal. But what I promise from right from now on, I will talk to who I want. I will say what I want. I will do what I want from now on. The only thing that I won't do is I will not hurt Drama Alert as a, as, as a brand because it's important for me to Drama Alert to succeed. It's important for me to Keem to, see, to succeed. I am definitely on Team Drama Alert. But, but that being said, I can be on Team McDonald's and still wave to the guys that are on Team Burger Keem and be cordial as long as they're cordial Burger to Keem. me. Bur like Burger Keem. Burger Keem. <laughs> <laughs> I've been drinking. Home Sorry. I can be cordial to the guys on on Team Burger King uh, uh, and, and, and still want to beat them. I want to beat Scarce. I want Keem to beat Scarce every single... But I can still like him. I can still like him. There's nothing, I, I, I don't hate the guy one way or another. I know he's done some rotten shit. He overdid the Tony thing, what have you. But you know what? I have to have the freedom to say and do what I want, when I want, how I want. And sure. I will continue to do Hell, that, my promise. When we did hockey, I, I read Adam Lampert articles every single day. Every single day. <laughs> uh, Burger King. That's great. Super. Hashtag Burger King. Hashtag Burger King. Hey, you know, the guy next door is just knocked. Uh, we've taken a new position of, about the guy next door. Here's what we think. The guy, the, the guy that's knocking, we think he's the guy that lives directly next door to us, right? Mm -hmm. 
and he hasn't paid his rent. And that is the oh, reason. Shit. Now you haven't told me this. No, no, theory. no. This is Ooh. new. He like has this. it. I he like knocks. This. He knocks intermittently. He doesn't knock all the time. First of all, all I'm doing is talking. Even Leechman, who lives in Germany, uh, me breaking the official police decibel level over speech is almost it has no chance of happening. He hasn't come it's to us. He just knocked yet, now. He just knocked now. By the way, it's not. It's not even ten yet. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. It's not, not even ten, 10 yet. yet. It's not ten yet. So here's what we're gonna do, man. Here's what we're gonna do. We're not buying any soundproofing period oh, he hasn't had the guts to go to our landlord he hasn't had the guts to knock on the door all right and we're gonna do this um sure yeah we hasn't had the guts because here's what we think he has he's squatting he's squatting and in germany you can squat for like a year so maybe he's pissed off and he can't bitch about it because a we're not breaking the law and b he can't bitch to the law because the landlord's gonna tell him to fucking move <laughs> <laughs> hashtag Burger King. So that's that's basically. I just, I just tweeted hashtag Burger King, so you can retweet that. By the way, <laughs> at Grand Slam eighty seven. So Twitter. that's there basically the way I feel about that. This is not a. I'm not disrespecting Keem. I'm not doing this, but I promise you guys, I will talk the way I want. Well, are you going to tell off Keem next time? Probably not. I agree with him on a lot of things, and I certainly couldn't disagree with him on on a fucking work. You know, I don't care that he's fooling people. I mean, the only the only debate is should he be doing that because he's a news guy. You know, should he be or shouldn't yeah, be? That's oh. a debate for you guys to have. Um, when it comes to pedophile stuff, no, probably not. But I'm sorry, nobody got really called a pedophile at the end of the day, so I don't give a fuck, right? Was was clown outraged? Rightfully so. And here's another thing: clown got worked more than I did. Nobody yes, said did. shit to me. I bit. just like I was just like, oh god, he doesn't know about Leafy, <laughs> and I shouldn't have to live like that. If somebody gives me a phone call and says hello, how you doing? I shouldn't have to be worried about losing all my money. I shouldn't, especially I under the I, situation. I, yeah. So I'm, I'm basically going to talk to who I want to talk to, when I want to talk to, and how I want to talk to them. Um, this is and, and, and I think I could still do that and support Drama Alert and support Baited and be fair and be pro-Keem. And I can be pro-Keem and disagree with Keem, and that's fair. That's it. One would think. Yeah, that I I know one 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 would know. So a lot of this is, you know what? There is some truth in me being a pussy, Dave. I should have brought. The, I should have fucking come right out of this. I should have come right. You out know of me. I, I think you should have talked to him about it. But that's that, that's. I don't have me. to talk to him about talk it. To your neighbor. I don't too, have to talk to. I, yeah, probably. <laughs> no, I, I don't think I have to talk to my neighbor because my neighbor's. Man, like, I don't think because it, it had nothing to do with him. And the conversation came I, out. Oh, look, I understand. And I reasons. have the whole conversation recorded. Yeah. <laughs> I, I to protect my ass. I 100% get yeah. it. But like I always feel that it's just easier to go ahead and just get it out there. If you're going to get it out there eventually, like if the guy's going to come talk to you across the hall eventually or if Keem is going to find out this way eventually, a conversation beforehand just saves a whole yeah. lot of fucking hassle. Yeah, That's just, maybe it's, maybe it's the Midwestern in me. I have no fucking maybe. idea. But the, but the, but, the, but but look, Keem Leafy called me. Nothing I didn't do anything. This guy won't fucking talk to me. He won't talk to my wife. Um, and it's before 10 o'clock, um, Central European. Should be fine. Um, fuck this guy. And if Keem wants to talk to me about, I, I, this is more, I'll tell you why it's more important. It's more important. My, my fans know that are, they're getting my honest opinion on baited. Then Keem knows that, that, that Leafy talked to me and nothing happened. Clown knows about You've got it. You've to be genuine. And it, you it, have it, to be genuine. It's I will, and thing. and I probably will talk to Keem offline about this. But I had to spit this. I just I don't think it's anybody's business who I talk to on the phone. I'm sorry, it's not anybody's business. I I guess it was his business if I was fucking him over. But why would I fuck him over now? I just wrote. I mean, I just took tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of fucking hate. You know that that I knew was that's the right. I knew it was the right in. thing to. I knew it was the right thing to defend him, right? That's where the perception comes in, right? Because yeah. like he's the one who has to determine whether or not he feels like he's getting fucked, and because he's a guy who's been fucked well, over. Then so I'll many send times him the tape. His own work. Then I'll send him know? the tape. Then I'll send him the tape. If that's the worst thing in a row, but I'm not going to expose you Leafy. You shouldn't have to go into a show you know worried what? about your fucking. No, your and job. now I'm not worried right. about it because um I'm now not worried about it because it it, it is what it is. I'm not. I don't have to report to anybody about my phone conversations. Um, and I was like, oh, does that mean you and Leafy are buddies? We talk once. We're not buddies. 
do you take back the thing on the psychopath? No, we actually talked about that a little bit. Um, I don't take anything I said about what he did to Keem was rotten as fuck. And I swear, I hope to God that he apologized to him. And that bigger piece of shit, which I've always maintained, grade A under A, that called, I mean, fucking, uh, basically, Leafy's video was Keem's uncool. Grade's video was a pedophile accusation. And that yeah. is much, much more serious. It, it was a real one. It wasn't a fake one. It wasn't a work. It wasn't just trying to get views. It was real. It was real, which makes grade worse. And you know what? Grade should come fucking clean too. You know? Good luck and, with that. Yeah, well, no. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, and I think breath. grade is the bigger piece of shit. And I've made that, maintained that all along. And, you know, uh, what I don't take anything back. Not one thing I said to Leafy. And I'll be perfectly honest with you. I'm telling you right now. The reason that fucking show was success or even mildly interesting and I'm going to take all the credit for it was the two questions that I asked because it was the most revealing to Leafy about who he was and how he was feeling at that particular time. So uh, I think I did my part and from here on in, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to worry. I'm, I'm doing my show. I'm speaking to who I want to speak to. I'm, uh, 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 people are going to have to trust me that I'm not going to fuck them over and I'm going about my life the way I see fit. And if that's a problem for Baited, then um, I'll deal with it privately with Keem. But I think when if I talk to him, it's going to be reasonable. It's going to, it's a re, it, it can I, be I, a reasonable I, I, Just be straight up with what you're doing. Yeah. And well, I'm, you, this is, I'm not talking, first of all, I'm not talking to Keem. Here's another thing. I'm, I'm, I'm talking should, to Keem. I'm not talking to Keem. You shouldn't have to worry about being straight up. I'm talking to fans. I'm not talking to Keem. I'm talking to fans. I don't owe Keem an explanation because I don't, I'm a grown ass, I'm a 40 year old man. I don't have to tell a 34 year old man who I'm talking to. I'm not a girlfriend. I'm a business partner. And that's where that, that, that ends. If, if, if Keem is interested in what we spoke about, be happy to talk to him about it. And I'm not going to fuck over Leafy. I'm not fucking over Keem. He called me. We talked. It was a nice conversation. We mostly talked about Europe because apparently uh, uh, Calvin's been also all over Europe. We are not buddies. I'm not supporting Leafy. I'm not telling you to go sub Leafy. I'm not saying that I take anything back. I see everything I said said was 100% on the money. We talked and I regretted it immediately. And he did too. Because he thought I was going to fucking upload it. But I don't do that. And you can trust me on that. Wait a minute, Tommy. Didn't you just so DMs from Jack Malay? That's because he fucked me. And if Leafy fucks me, I'll do the same thing. But he's not break going glass to. In, break glass in case. Yeah. Face glass in case. All right. Um, I'm going to take some calls on Discord. Uh, Before we, gotta, we get to calls, I got to do something. It's very important. Go ahead. <clears throat> we are at 408 likes on this video. There is 866 <laughs> motherfuckers in here right now. I have something really special in the back here. If we get the 500 likes, I'm going to whip out something special, something you've never seen before on this channel. Something is this going to age restrict the stream? No. It's going to awesome fi the stream. Awesome yes. fi. <laughs> we got awesome likes, we, we got awesome fi and Burger King. <laughs> awesome fight what, what, what are you gonna do yeah I, I would appreciate the likes hey guys um comments and likes means a lot now it's a big deal um i didn't ask for them before because uh didn't do anything uh but it does mean a lot if you if you enjoyed the uh, if you enjoyed it um just just like it do, do what you see fit uh let's put in uh zeus you're on the air tommy c and the whole hello point what's hello. up man? what's what's on your mind hello Hello, you're on uh, Shot from the Point. Wow. Yes, uh, uh, I'm actually. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm good. Go have a good day then. Uh, Doris May, you're on the it. air. We hit it, by the way. What's that? Oh, we really did. Oh we yeah, did. I, I, you know what you're talking I, I about. I treat these animals good. Yeah, Doris May, you're on the air. Doris. Doris. Going once. Go for two. Going twice, you gone. I'm, you know, somebody said that I should start going with people that I know more often and only put a uh, okay. a caller in that doesn't isn't been on every so often. And I'm wondering if I have to do that. Uh, true. Uh, Depths, you're on the hey. air. On the What's air. up, man? All right. Uh, so, do you think we're witnessing the downfall of YouTube? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Well, hell, Maybe. son, it's okay if you have over three. Stomp Ouch. a mud hole in their asses and walk it dry, you dumb son of a bitch. That's what we do in Stone Cold at the Stone Cold Steve Austin Broken Skull Ranch, you, you dumb bastard. Yes, we're, you're witnessing the downfall of YouTube. Just with do lame. it. Just put a Canadian accent on that and you got Bret Hart. Yeah. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> 
Yes, because of lame wrestling um, uh, invitations. Um, I don't it's know. Austin. Look at Austin. He looks Here, here's the thing about the Well, down I mean, we said we were witnessing the downfall of YouTube when the whole monetization thing happened. Um, yeah, I did. And I feel a little bit like Leafy when in his video when he said everything that's happened in the last six months when he said, this is it. It's over. We're fucked. And I did say something like that. You're right. Thanks for calling me out. Um, <laughs> but I do, like Leafy, I feel silly because those weren't the end of the world. This might be. <laughs> it could um, be. It and another thing like I want to point out, another thing I want to talk about Depps is a lot. Of, why is Zoe Burger? Why is Zoe Burger not losing? Why is it Zoe Burger streams? And here's what I've noticed. If I upload, I lose 100 subs within good yep. 12 hours. If I stream, I don't. Yep. I don't. That could be a thing. I honestly. don't. I, 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 I don't. And what does Zoe mostly do? She streams. She streams. She streams. Maybe, she, maybe YouTube is trying to promote yeah, the live anymore. streaming feature. <laughs> not for I don't, next I don't, I don't think, That's a hell of a way to do it. I don't think you find her on Instagram either. <laughs> you hear what Depps just said? He goes, maybe they're trying to promote the live stream feature. I'm thinking to myself, that's a hell of a way to do it by punishing all the people that have made you tons of money in the past. But hey, maybe you're right, Depths. You know, <laughs> who knows? That, that's a hell of a way to I'm fuck curious it, uh... why we can't hear him. Oh, you can't hear him? No, oh, shit. Hear shit. Um, I can no. fix it. I know why. If I don't want to hear something, I'll just I, It was on my... You can't hear him? Depths, no. talk. Hi. Say hello, Depths. Nope. Hello. Oh, that's fucking Welcome fucked up. Welcome to another edition of Tech Time with Tommy C. <laughs> Try Talk it again, Depps. Oh. Talk again. Hi, I'm Depps. You didn't hear that? No. Oh, no. The... And, and I have I have ears of Dumbo the Elephant. Now yes, you do. You can't hear it. Unfucking. Tap the microphone. Let's turn this into an ASMR video. Let's fucking do it. Try it again, Depps. Oh, oh hear myself. People in chat, I'm not Lieutenant Corbis. Okay. All right. That's there you I go. Hear myself. There you go. Now we're Jeff and I hear now. Okay. Now we got. So you got you got Depps now? I mean, people don't want to hear Did me. you hear Depps now? No. I don't care. Yes, but I hear myself. Right. Hey, Depps, hey, thanks for the call, buddy. Well, thanks for the call, buddy. Girl. No wonder you guys were. He actually made a really good call. You, you missed it. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, fuck. <laughs> KT, you're on the air. You stole my meme. I'm what was, your, what was your stupid meme? Hey, watch your mouth. Yes, I did. So what? I want you to pay me. You don't hear anything. Jay. Oh, give, no. give me the money. Uh, goodbye. Goodbye. I love you. Well, you said before you heard the other kid. Yeah, we, did. we heard ourselves. Yes. What the fuck? Operator error. We've never had a zero, problem. With, we've never had a problem. We've only had a problem on their end. We've never had a problem on your end. Let's put Katie. Where's Katie? Let's put her back. Oh, God. I can't win with anything I do. Katie, you there? <laughs> Yes. Did you hear Katie? Oh. What do you mean? I wonder why, because they can't hear you for whatever reason. Say, I love you, Dave. I hate Dave. No. Nothing. Nothing. Was it not working for everyone? Yeah, do you have it is. A mixer it, does, set up? it does seem to be not working for everybody. Do you have a mixer set up? You yeah, fucked I, up, I boy. Do. No, you. Well, that's my kid. Did. No, he didn't. How dare you? I don't know. Ah, just fuck off. How about that? Are you going to pay me now? No, you can, you can, you can pretty much fuck off. Oh, okay. I'm not kidding. Bye, bye. bye and uh, bye. that means I'm done with the show because <laughs> I ain't got shit fucking else to say. Um, That's the bottom line. Sorry. There must be. I, I guarantee you. You know what I? You know what I? You know what? You know what I could do? And I think it's worth it because we, we, we did allow people. I guarantee you, if I hang up Skype and call you back, then I won't be an issue. So let me call you guys back. All right. So we're gonna try. To call, uh, we're gonna cut, try to call Dave back because I think you guys, you definitely want to take phone calls, and I owe that to you. Um, and uh, well, maybe we'll put Katie back in, but I think it's just a glitch in, inside of Skype, if I had to guess. And we're gonna work on it. Um, God, that pisses me off to no fucking end. S K Y P E because that was the one part that was working over K. And if you wanted to know what I'm doing about the uh, Skype situation, uh, we're either going to a new phone number um, pretty soon, or or um, we're probably more than likely we're going to be going to a new phone number, um, or I got to put my password in. Hold on.
Yep. Now you know how many characters it is if you're really sharp. Uh, so we're gonna get, we're gonna go to that or get a new number, and we're gonna see what's happening. But I'm gonna take uh, a few recalls for the next half an hour. I will not be taking them on Skype, so you can forget about it. It's not working. It's not working. So and it's probably not going to work either. Let's put dead on Dave on. Uh, apparently, I can add two people to a call, and that's fucking it. Uh, Jeff, are you there? I'm here. See, this is what you get with T-Mobile. Yes, it's nothing to do with T-Mobile when the fucking stereo mix isn't working, you hillbilly shithead. Got it? It's not T-Mobile, you, you dumb piece Let me ask you trash. something. Did you hear the music uh, before? Did you hear the music before? Yes. Yes. That's fucking bizarre. Uh, let's we put... listen to fucking Pootie Pie yeah. threaten fucking YouTube together. Yes. That's we true. We also listened to Real Talk's amazing music video. Yes, we did. Mackenzie, you there? Fuck you one. You hear him? You didn't hear Mackenzie nope. yell. No. No. Why the fuck would you not be able to hear Mackenzie? That doesn't make any fucking sense. Uh, I hate my life and I want to die. Mm -hmm. I don't get it. I really don't get it. If there's a red wire, if there's a red wire hanging out the back of your computer, wiggle it. It'll help. I don't understand why you can't hear them. It's such a weird thing. Like, I've never had that problem with the... Uh, I mean, it's audio on my desktop. I heard uh, if you get some Minute Maid and just pour it over the top of your and, computer, and you that heard, works you, you honestly, you heard him for... Oh, maybe Vitamin it's, C. Maybe it's the mixer. I don't fucking <laughs> know. He needs that vitamin C. I think Jeff's oh, right. Vitamin me. C will help you. Yeah, vit computer. vitamin C is good. You were in the Army, Tommy. You know what a drop 13 can do. What is a drop? What can a drop 13 do, McKenzie? Uh, delete Tommy C's channel. He didn't hear that. There's something wrong with They're talking to Helen Keller. Oh, I know. It's <laughs> fucking the worst. And I hate this. Better than listening to Marley Matlin earlier and fucking That's booty true. fried. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I don't understand what's wrong. That's how we used oh. to fix radios at Drop 13. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm ending the show. Fuck this. Thanks, McKenzie. Get the fuck out of here. Yes. I, I just... I, I don't I don't get it. I don't get it. This must be something wrong. Well, then end the show, you dumb son of a bitch. I don't want to. I had such a good time today. This has been a blast. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, let's... Um, all right. Uh, uh, plug your show, you goofballs. Uh, Dave, you first. Because you seem to always know what the fuck's going on. That's right, I do. And it just so happens we do wrestling over at Dead on Dave Productions. And tonight we have a SmackDown exclusive pay-per-view tables and ladders and chairs oh my and we're gonna be live right after doing a review come over join the insanity we're gonna have a good time we're gonna take your calls your questions your hopes your dreams your quips your quotes your loves your hates and everything more dead on day productions make sure you're there tonight directly after tlc all right jeff cool, cool. what do you got cool you can check me out on grand slam 87 like zoe burger i do game streams myself so i mean what why not show up to that you don't have boobies though yeah, that's true. That, you don't. that is that is true. That is true. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah. You and you don't take your shirt off while fucking streaming like we've told you a million times. You know, yeah. you know what? Donate fifty dollars to any stream I want and I'll take the shirt off. There you go. You gotta start smaller. Don't be so fucking greedy. Five bucks first. Get the people yeah, in really. there. Get the okay. What's the matter with you? All right. <laughs> <laughs> Give me hundred seventy-five dollars and I'll pick my teeth. What the yeah. fuck? No, what you gotta the hell's start the matter small, with you? small. You gotta spell and work your way up. It's not yeah. like you're eating uh, pot, hot peppers, are you, Dave? No, no, you know what? It's hard to do. You what should I do? Should I just I'll eat, I'll eat should I just too. should I just get a new number and or should I just fucking go through the uh, headache that is uh, tech support through Skype? I think you should just get a whole bunch of cans with strings and call it good. Fuck you. And it'll no. work out well. I mean, that'll that been more reliable than T-Mobile. So, is what this, is your fucking fuck deal with T-Mobile? Fuck you fucking what the hit? fuck? I mean, I've been running T-Mobile since you fucking had that shit fucking <laughs> microphone that I've been begging you to trade in for a year and a half. It wasn't an issue. Now it's a fucking issue. God. You know, I you know <laughs> I give a good you know you know what? Team. Fuck I you. Think you. Suck off T-Mobile, Jesus. What is your? <laughs> Thank you very much, everybody, and uh, I don't know.
Now, before you jump the gun on anything, crazy show. See you tomorrow, um, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Shopping the Point Dead. Check out my hockey channel, Shopping the Point Hockey. Uh, we do hockey. NHL 17 live cast uh, in the crease of Tommy C Monday through Thursday. Thank you very much, everybody, and good night. Just let me go. Oh, words and tastemakers, makers, no chaser. Gets the blood flowing like a fucking pacemaker. Cut the middle man and inhale the vapors. Mad men, huh? old ten times rapers. Cut the jukebox on, make the woofers blow. Low. We gon' sit here until all them heifers go. go. Holler at the tens and spend a little dough. Not on them, no, they can buy their own drinks. Shake that work week off five days in the bucket. Fuck it, you got a boss who's a jerk who doesn't. Throw on some Wu Tang, bring the motherfucking ruckus. There is no pre. Text, we are living and we love it on a budget, never mind. We just nudge it to the side, give the kids a little time. We are living till we die. Focused and we hustle, but we still be getting high. No exception to the rule, do what you do to get by. Cause I keep sticking like a metronome, and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home. But my balls keep telling me to let me out. Oh, oh, just let me out. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome, and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home. But my balls keep telling me to let me out. Party getting jammed up, you were Tony Anza When they ask who's the fucking boss, put your hand up Never put it down, cause you're banging to the anthem 2010 trend, put the iPod on random Wonder why I try to play this instead of handsome Probably cause it gets the people moving like a handgun Just like the little white fellas up in M Happy Easter from the motherfuckers living in the mansion Yeah, Freestyle Friday number 9 you know, I finally figured out what was wrong. I had the wrong setting in Discord. I think that was it. Ah, Hold on a second. Let's let's put McKenzie back in. See if I got it right. Hold on. Uh, I want to see if uh, I got this. Hold on. Three, two. McKenzie, are you there? Can you hear him? Barely. Uh, oh, you can. Oh, let me turn. Happy birthday, Mac. McKenzie. Oh yeah, happy birthday, Mac. No. He apparently hates that. Happy birthday, you. You're a 14 year old boy, right? Yeah, and I'm lying. Yeah. Facebook baby. says you're Facebook says you're 26. All right, can we confirm that we heard Mac? Barely. Mac, barely. talk, yeah, you fucking barely. silent Scotsman. Tommy, he's gay. Do you hear that? Yeah, there you go. You're All gay. Right.